As wildfires continue to burn throughout California, there's a problem in the woods adding to concern from both north and south in the state. It's a tiny beetle drawn to the trees because of the drought. This one's greener than that one, yet it's, it has evidence um, right here of um, bark beetles. Hidden in these trees, there's a problem you can barely see with the naked eye, and it's smaller than the tip of a pen. If you poke them a little bit, it'll probably move. As a bark beetle bores through the ponderosa pines, it leaves behind a pattern of destruction. This is evidence of an attack. The tiny beetles are after what's inside. They're not eating the bark. They're not eating the solid wood. They're eating this nice, spongy... Layer. In this lush forest, the dead brown trees are visible. As the trees compete for water in a historic drought, it's invited the healthy appetite of bark beetles. Once you have stressed trees, they're prone to successful um, attack by uh, bark beetles. The trees are left dry and dead, and the northern California forests are a tinderbox. Just listen. And the tiny beetle is causing big problems for cal fire as they reproduce and lay eggs. Those drier trees are more susceptible to um, uh, basically uh, being ignited by a wildfire. Applying pesticide in the forest is cost prohibitive, and for some trees, it's already too late. They've already infected or killed the tree, and um, they're, they're actually leaving this host in, in search of another one. The Forest Service has resorted to removing the dead stands of trees, and as they keep an eye on wildfires, they also wait for Mother Nature to take course. If we get cold, hard winters, um, that makes it tough on the insects to successfully continue to grow their populations. And they tell us while the problem isn't the worst they've seen, the hope now is that the beetle hasn't spread and removing dead trees will be the only option for now.